All right, hey, what's up? So today's gonna be something a little bit different. I'm gonna make a uh, filament dry box for all my spools of filament. And um, I'm kind of walking through this uh, with you guys at the same time. So basically what I did was I went on the interwebs there and I found something that I think might work. So I'll just strap you to my head and we'll go through it together. I use my filament spools and I take them off and put them on a separate spool holder. So if you want to run the lines out, um, Tom's channel has a great video on that and I'll actually just link that in the description but hopefully you like it and uh, you know if you like it leave a thumbs up if you don't leave a thumbs down and leave a comment either way let me know what I did wrong all right excuse the messy floor that would be that guy's fault um, this is what we're gonna need for the project okay so I picked up this uh, humidity monitor from the Walmart. Love it or hate it, it's what we have in town here. Kind of live out in the sticks. So I'm going to get a baseline. This is weather strip seal, very thin. 3 16th of an inch thick. Two of the same size snap lid containers. This is a one quarter inch drill bit. So six point whatever, 6.25 millimeters. This will all make sense in a little bit. So we have some holes drilled, so now I'm just going to cut. On this one particular one I got, there's a nice line right here, so I'm just following that. Oh, well, I was following that. Yep, don't do that. Alright, so please keep in mind that this stuff just snaps on you no matter what you do. So now we have the bottom off. We can try and see if this is going to work. Seems to. So this is Fresh Step Crystals cat litter. Now, you don't need this stuff. There's a stuff called Mimi cat litter that is also crystals. You gotta make sure you, crystals, right? Talk about that in a minute. But the Mimi cat litter is like five bucks for two pounds, or no, it's like three bucks for two pounds of it or something. This stuff, way more expensive. It's like 14 bucks for eight pounds, so. I guess, you know, $2 a pound, so not too bad. So guys and gals will use this in their gun safes and their ammo boxes as a desiccant. So the same thing we buy the silica gels for, they use this in their uh, ammo boxes. And the reason they can do that, because if you look in the back, it says contains silica gel. Now is this entirely silica gel? No. But is this way cheaper than the silica gel balls? Yes. So I'm just gonna dump this in. Apparently we get a little thing here. Well, that didn't work at all, did it? Huh? It's all coming together now. Ooh. All right. So, what I will do is I'll put in the humidity monitor, and then we'll check back. Two hours later. And we are at 
44. Early the next morning. There you go. 40. Okay, so I thought I was done with the filament video, but apparently not. I was at the store getting some stuff for another project, and I came across this stuff. Damp Rid. Uh, you use it in RVs and trailers and stuff. Uh, if you have like mold or mildew issues, you know. I believe this stuff is calcium chloride. The problem is, is after the crystals absorb the moisture, they turn into liquid. But each one of these products has it in a little, you know, container. So it contains that liquid. So what I'm going to do is see what the filament box is right now. It's about 24 hours after I put the, the crystal kitty litter in. We'll get a humidity reading on it now. And then I'll check it again in about two hours. And we'll see if this actually brings it down even more. It's been at 40. You know, that's about all it's going to get out of that kitty litter. Five hours later. We're down to 37%. So it seems to be working. 48 hours later. 35%. One week later. We're down to 29%. Hopefully it helps somebody out. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.